Hello, this is Gary Wishon, the disgruntled heathen. Sorry it's been so long since my last video, but life gets in the way. I wanted to get this done before I go to bed. <sighs> now, this following story is not for all Christians. I realize not all Christians think like this one person I had the displeasure of running into. He goes by the name of Ed. I've mentioned him in the past. He is a fundamentalist idiot. Ed recently told me now that Donald Trump is president. People like me will be thrown into an insane asylum until I get better. Otherwise known as re-education camp. I know this is not true. I know this is not going to happen. But I want to try to ask a simple question to the Eds of the world because if there's one you meet, there's 10,000 you never had the displeasure of meeting. The Eds of the world are like cockroaches. They're out there. You can see one. There's many you've missed and a lucky never to have met. Dear cockroaches, if you think Donald Trump can make this country into a Christian wonderland, I have to ask you one question. Which denomination? And what are you going to do with the Muslims? If you do anything about the atheists, you have to do something about the Muslims. If you don't like certain denominations of Christianity, what are you going to do with them? Now, I hate Islam. I despise Islam. It's a cruel, cruel belief system that degrades human beings and lessens the quality of their life and shortens the length of their days they have to live. I oppose it. But Muslims have the right to be wrong, especially in this country. Provided they're not threatening the quality of someone's life, nor the days they have to live, they have the right to be wrong. And if you Christian, if your Christian Wonderland were to start to take an effect, and you were to turn on the Muslims, I, like many others, would stand by their side. And what would you guys do then? Let's say to cut this video short, you somehow throw us all in the same asylum, and with all the laws beaten down made to fit in the Christian thought process to reflect what you believe. Who do you have left? You have Christians, but you're not all Christians are Christians in your mind. I, I've heard no shortage of Baptists say that Catholics aren't real Christians. Or Mormons are crazy. Well, they are. The mighty planet Koloff. Look it up. It is bizarre. Anyone believes this shit. What would it be like? What would your Christian America be like? Would it be like uh, the majority of one region gets to decide what the government would be like? How would it be reflected? Say you're a Christian, you're a Baptist in Salt Lake City. Where your children have to be taught Mormon and Mormon education because the Mormons are the majority there. Or take it to say Massachusetts, where it's a massive amount of Catholics. Where you have to then bend your beliefs to fit the local rulers, the local majority. There is 30,000 denominations inside of Christianity. And each one says they are the true one and everyone else is wrong. 
if you fever dream of a fuck you ever did it take place it would not be the United States of America it would be the divided states of America and it would be a never ending civil war but would you please kindly take your heads out your asses and support the secular government we have and stop trying to put the church in charge for once think you silly fuckers if you make atheist videos feel free to put your channel down below goodbye